Hello everyone. In this movie we will continue our lesson of curtain walls. At previous part we was learn basic types. Today we will look how to make own curtain wall. Of course sometimes you want to do uh, curtain wall manually with own mullions. And we can do that. Uh, let's start and uh, let's jump to our with model or whatever model you working is. So, let's draw new curtain wall on the my floor panel I'm going to level 1 let's choose part of the our wall mm, let's choose that for that part okay uh, as you remember we're going to working space and choosing the reference plane and as you see we can uh, we can't use uh, properly pick lines because we don't have any straight lines here so let's choose the line and let's draw, uh, let's make the offset first it's, uh, as you remember, it's 300 or 450 let's choose 300 millimeters and let's draw from here to up and see, this is wrong direction just tap to space and we choose the right direction okay, and let's draw it here Again, wrong, di wrong direction, just tap to space. Okay, let's extend that. Okay, looks okay. On my architect panel, I'm choosing the wall and let's choose the type of the curtain wall. Um, let's choose the curtain wall. Ctrl Z. Uh, first, what uh, I need to say: mm, base offset. Let's make 400. Uh, top constraint uh, level two or roof, whatever you have. Uh, top offset. Um, let's make it also min minus 200. And on edit type, don't forget about uh, automatically embed. Uh, it should be check on. Okay. Okay. So let's draw it. Tap here. Tap here. And okay. Let's go to 3D to check it. Yeah, here we are. So, go to now to floor plane, level 1, and let's choose our elevation front of our curtain wall. As you see, this is blank panel. On my architect setup, I'm going to curtain grid. Oh, first, let's make offset from the basement 0. Yeah, this is more better. Okay, for now, architect, uh, curtain grid, two thousand three hundred one, and second five hundred. It will be enough, and I think it's okay. Uh, let's go to placement and choose one segment, and just on the middle, and same here. Let's try to middle. Seems it's impossible. Okay, we will go to other way. Just click on previous one, add segments and delete that one. Or just click on that and delete. Go again to architecture, curtain grid, all segments and click on the middle. And now click on our line add remove segment and remove this one yes this working okay let's continue again curtain mm, curtain grid uh, one segment 300 from that side and 300 from that side and let's choose all segment and make 300 here now we need delete this one on the middle and this one Yes, let's add one more here, hundred and here. Let's zoom it. Something wrong. Okay, just add somewhere and we will fix it. Click on that 
and let's change the size from from here to here I change to 100 delete element I think it's my wrong cause we cannot make on the one line we should be delayed so all segments 100 click on that line remove segments and delete done For now, let's go to our floor plan level 1. Choose elevation front of our panel. As you see, this is blank panel. So, going to curtain grid and let's draw all segment. First, we will firstly, okay, to escape a couple of times, uh, choose our curtain wall and let's change the basement to 0. Enter. Okay, good. Now, curtain grid, all segments one middle one on the top one somewhere here and one a bit down and let's let's put uh, one segment and let's make here and here okay good and let's change again to all segment and let's put it in here now we should modify that how to do that just click on our line, add remove segment and remove both of them. Go to here, remove segments, remove this one and this one. And as you see, we have now, if we will go to 3D, already own segments. So, let's continue. Okay, for now, let's modify it. Let's go back to our elevation view. And now we will use uh, on architecture tab as a, a button. This is curtain wall mullion. Click on that, and as you see, we have three different types on the placement. So the grid line it means it's cross all our line and making it uh, mullion. As you see, I will click, and as you see, this is all. We have the grid line. This make only part of them without this one for example or without this one only part of them let's go back control z and of course the easiest one it's all grid line and we will use that just click on our line and it's make everywhere as you see this is kind of weird connection so how we can fix them or configuration just click on our mullion and we have this is small icon click on them and making connect under mm, this line or if you will click again it's uh, under of all this one line so and let's fix that this is uh, only up to you as you want it will be so I think I think everything okay everything okay but on the this side you see the double one it's okay we just ca can delete this one or just leave it never mind but on our door hole we have the these mullions you just can easily click on that and delete and delete so let's continue but now you have question how we can shift our panel to door ok for that we're going to 3d now we we should load the door the curtain door not just the simple or basic doors we should load curtain door inside the project so we're going to insert up after that load family going back use, use USA metric door and we using curtain wall single glass open okay for now we should replace that just put our cursor on the bottom of our panel and use the tab key until you will get uh, border around our mm, panel after that click on them and just on the properties replace 
our door. As you see, I have the different doors because I loaded uh, from the uh, package. You should have two. So let's use our door. Now, as you see, it for that side, I want to make, I want to change a bit our panel. Just click. Uh, as you see, we have the part of mullions. Just click on this part of mullion. Uh, click on delete, delete, and here too, to delete. And we have the one big piece of panel. Just using the tab and choose that. Let's change the system panel to, for an example, to generic model. Oh, this is a bit extend. Let's basic wall generic 200. Okay, let's change to same. Choose again our panel by tab. 2200, it's right, right. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah. So now we have kind of separate our glazing. But as you clearly see, we have here line. How we can hide that? Just click on architecture tab. As you see, we have here line. But how we can change it? On the our panel, go to modify. Oh, sorry. I'll go back. Yeah, on modify and uh, on the view, just click on that and choose uh, line invisible line and double click on our line and same on this side escape a couple of times and as you see we have visibly one panel it looks like here going the brick okay let's continue as you see if you remember uh, we did this panel for example, you want making some mm, mullion of the corner uh, on the, on the corner of our the um, curtain wall. How to do that? We're going to architecture tab. On the component, just click uh, place a component and model in place. Click on that. Let's choose the wall. Uh, let's give the name as you want front sweep example okay oh yeah, front it's okay <laughs> and let's choose the sweep pick on path so first we choosing the path after that we will draw that just choose our path use trim and extend It's not working here, but it's okay, we will do manually. Okay. Okay, let's fix on the bottom side until here and in other side same until here. So, for now, let's go to level 2. And let's draw. Okay, now we can check. And let's uh, edit profile. And let's draw it. From here. It's actually, it's not straight, but it's okay. Here to here. Let's copy that. Yes. We're using the arc. And let's close in this side. Here. Just make too sure. Here. Let's choose material. material 
Let's make aluminium. Okay. Okay, now just extend a bit. To here. Yeah, I think it will be enough. Let's make it a bit. Yeah, this is more better. And click on the green button. Okay, okay. Go to 3D and we will check it. And as you see, we have the corner of our mullions. Looks pretty good. Yeah, everywhere. Okay guys, thanks for watching, subscribe and share with this video, see you later.